Hey friends, Jessica here. So in today's demo slash tutorial, I'm going to show you a, a group of Photoshop brushes, a little Photoshop toolkit that I used to create an invitation like this that was inspired by a recent Chanel runway look. And I saw this look and I really liked it. I think it's, um, you know, got a very classic Chanel vibe. We've got this furry pink jacket contrasted with a really a sleek um, skirt. And the skirt I like has a little bit of shimmer in it. So I kind of wanted to work that into my motif and my design. And then of course we have these gold chains and stuff. So I thought I'd kind of use that as a jumping off point to create something, um, a toolkit. And then I made a couple demos of like some ideas of what you can do with it. So we've got this little um, invitation that I threw together. Oh, excuse me. And I like this because it's um, a bit minimalist, but um, it's kind of got all of the elements from there. And it's just kind of cool. So I can show you um, a little bit how to create this flower and some of these effects. And then what I started off with was just playing with some little motifs like this. So um, I'll show you all the brushes that are included in this little toolkit. And if you're a Patreon member, you can download that on my Patreon and I'll have other download options below. And so to start off with, um, we have got the brushes here. So the first brush is the fluffy brush and it's preloaded with a, um, with a color palette in it. But of course, if you look up here, these are the color palettes and um, I just sampled them from the, from the jacket here and kind of cleaned them up a little bit. And I've got like five pink ones and then one black one. But you can always change the color. But I thought I would do something um, in this kit is rather than have them, I would have the color, um, the brush is preloaded with a color because I've got a lot of feedback that a lot of you guys like that. So if you just select the fluffy brush and start painting, you can see, and it's already got the color. But you can always, um, after you got the color palettes loaded up, grab another color and change it. So that's really up to you. Now this brush I didn't use in these particular designs. I just wanted to keep this one sleek and minimal but have fun with it. I think it's, um, you know, kind of inspired by the jacket and it's got that kind of fluffy, um, wooly kind of look inside the brush. So I think that's really cool. And then I've got this furry brush here. And this one has got like, they both have pressure sensitivity. So ideally you'll want to use a, a tablet or something but I like, and I have the flow taken down, but I like that it's really got that texture in there and I think it's really cool and I think you can do some cool things with it. And then I have this black shimmer brush, which you see here and you can also see on this um, invitation. And this one is kind of cool because it's also pressure sensitive with the flow. So, and I've got this very subtle black loaded up in here. So if you, push down like full strength, you're going to see that more of a contrasty line, which is cool. I kind of like that black on black and everything. But if you kind of press more lightly, you're going to see a really, it's going to have less of the contrast between the colors. So it's going to be a more subtle stroke. And that's what I used over here. And let's see what else we've got. So I've got two chain brushes preloaded with gold. Um, and so you could just take these brushes and start painting like that and that. And they're two tones of gold and they're preloaded. The only um, caveat I will tell you is that if you change the size of these brushes because they are a mixer brush, it's going to lose that gold already loaded into them. And if you want to change the size of your brush, you just need to sample um, from like resample, reload some color into your brush. And to do that, like if I take this brush here and I increase the size and start painting, it's going to change to the last um, selection uh, that I've made, which actually happened to be gold, but it could be anything. Anyway, it loses the color. So um, if you want to change the size of it, you can go to an image, grab a gold image, 
Or if you have my 24 karat gold brushes, you can use this sidebar palette where I've got all these golds to choose from. And then Option or Alt on the PC and then click to load that, reload that brush up there. But if you don't have that collection, you can grab like a, a picture of some gl gold glitter or a gold foil or something like that to, um, to select and then paint. So you can have a lot of fun with that and select from, you know, sample from your own images and everything. So we've got two of those gold chains and then we've got sparkles, which I think are really cool. And actually on here, like if you see the sparkles layer here, I've got a layer style for you included in this kit. And this is one of my Creators Couture layer styled, which is like, um, I think it's like the lightly encrusted. So what I do is on the layer style, on the I create a layer, add the layer style, um, and I'm going to, uh, I will have this, you guys can download my, the sample file so you can copy and paste the layer style from it. So you'll have that available. So I'm just gonna cut this layer here. And what I'm gonna do is grab the sparkles um, brush I've got my regular brush because I don't want the color changing. I'm doing it in black because when I do that, because of the layer style, it's gonna have that pattern overlay already on it. So it's just got a really cool shimmery kind of effect and I think that could be really cool. And I kind of like this motif that I did here. You could even make some digital paper. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, you could do a lot of things. I added some flowers over the top, but even you can make some very chic like digital papers and like just make some black stripes with black and pinks, you know, some of these stripes with gold chains in between. I mean, you can do a lot of different things. So um, it's just all about giving you this kind of toolkit, this kind of jumpstart, and then you can create some whatever it is you create with this. And then we have got the um, tool brush, not this one. We're gonna just trash that there. The tool brush and this one I am going to show you, but I'm gonna put it in black. So I've got this black background, but if I want that tool to kind of show up, I can create a new layer. And then what I do is I'll grab my gradient tool and then grab like a lighter gray color, click OK. And I've got my, um, my gradient as foreground to transparent. And I'm just gonna put a little gray over here, which kind of looks like a light, which is a little cool. And then I'll create a new layer over that and grab my tool brush. I'm gonna put it in black and then make a little paint. So you can just, you know, have some fun with that. Maybe you'll use it like over a pink or a different color. I could put this, make a new layer and kind of, you know, you can have a little fun with it. So I just put that in there because I liked the, the tool, you know, the pantyhose kind of thing. And I think it works with the motif really well. So you've got that brush. And then you've got this flower center brush. And what I'll do is I'll show you, um, do a little quick demo here. Turn that off. I'll use this as my scratch pad. So over here, I created this layout. And as you can see, you have all the elements. You know, you've got the chains. I have like a pink stripe. I just wanted something a little bold and graphic. And then I've got a little flower kind of motif going on over here some chains so you know you can kind of see how I all put it together so you don't have to do um, I'm not going to just do it one by one you already kind of get the idea and um, but we'll, I'll show you how I made the flowers and it's just couldn't be easier so um, I'm going to go pop over here and I'll just create a new layer on top of everything I'm going to grab my furry brush and I think I'll grab like this first pink color and I just created I just draw a little like petal so I made these by just making like three petal shapes three petals and so you know you could use different color pinks like that you know just spice it up or whatever so I just simply 
like I did over here, made like a three, three petals coming together. And I like that little bit of transparency around the edges. And then create a new layer over that. And I added this 24 karat gold layer style to the layer first. And I'm going to grab this flower center. And honestly, it doesn't matter what color I put it in or whether I use the regular brush or the pattern stamp brush because I've got a, lay, um, a gold overlay on it. So I just simply created, painted some a little bit in the center of this like you see over here and just to create a little bit of a gold center for the flowers so it's really easy that's that's all it was and I put them over in the corner I just kind of wanted a little hint to a flower and I thought it looked cool so you can use that idea to create some flowers and as you can see I did some little flowers here and some mini mini flowers just using that simple technique so it's really easy. Anyone can do it and it looks really cool and, you know, kind of stylized. So um, you can kind of get the idea of how to do that. So that is the creative toolkit. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll have um, all the information down below about downloading it. And I will love, excuse me, I will love to see what you're making with this. So if you... Um, make something with these brushes. I would love to see it, so tag me. And also, just one last thing that you have to kind of figure out, but you know, you um, if you create something like a template or whatever, I've got some fonts that I've already selected here, so this might help you when you're making some font selection. I think it's really like elegant. And these are Google fonts. So what, what was this? Railway Thin? Okay, I guess I did use Railway. Hmm. Um, let me just double check which font this is. Uh, yeah, I guess that's Railway Thin, which is cool because it's a, it's a Google font. So you can just, um, search, um, search that and download it in case it's not already loaded up. And then Libra Baskerville. So both of those are Google fonts and I have kind of a, I've already pre-formatted them for you. So you can adapt that to whatever it is you're creating if you want. So just uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this creative jump start and can get your brain working and your creativity working and then you can kind of adapt it in your own way and make something really cool with it. So let me know if you have any questions and hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with this toolkit.